In the past couple of months, there has been a bunch of speculation, fake leaks and rumours about Pokemon on the Switch. Will it be Generation 8, Gen 4 remakes, will it get released this year? We just don't know, nothing has been confirmed by Game Freak and all of the leaks that are in the internet right now so far have been fake and who knows if they're going to be true but as of right now it is all speculation speaking of speculation though it is always cool to try and think about what we might be seeing in the next pokemon games on the nintendo switch in today's video i'm going to be taking a look at what the region should be for pokemon switch aka generation 8 if that is the next game on the switch now of course this is all my own opinion at the end of the day and it's completely cool if you guys disagree with what i say in the video don't hesitate though to drop a comment down below about the video and any other regions that would be cool to see in generation 8 that were not mentioned in this video don't forget to leave a like on this video too to show your support and i'll be sure to bring out a new video very shortly make sure to subscribe if you haven't already keep up to date and follow my twitter to updates about the channel both of those links can be found in the description down below now without further ado let's get into the video and i really hope that you guys enjoy so with this video what i'm going to be doing is going over a couple of countries and stuff and seeing if they would be a really cool region to see in generation 8 if that is the next game that we are going to see on the nintendo switch so first up is australia now australia as a region would be incredible people have been wanting this for a very very long time and it's for a number of reasons you know we have all of the really crazy animals that could be there you know australia is full of really dangerous animals like spiders and snakes and we have like kangaroos and stuff as well yes we do have kangaskhan but that doesn't really look like a kangaroo if you put a kangaskhan next to a kangaroo they don't really look like each other so i think an even better like kangaroo kind of pokemon would be awesome to see in an australian region not only that there are three times as many sheep as there are people in australia which basically means that that would be an amazing pokemon for the fire type starter because there's a the whole zodiac situation you know the chinese zodiac things where all of the fire starters Pokemon seem to be linked to the Chinese Zodiac like animals and a sheep is on there and there isn't a fire type sheep yet so if there was going to be an Australian region they'd have to have a sheep just because of that fact you know three times as many sheep as people you gotta have a fire sheep come on and it links up with the Zodiac sign it just makes perfect sense also talking more about the snakes that I didn't mention earlier Australia is home to 17 of the most poisonous snakes in the world so we could definitely see some really cool like snake Pokemon here and especially if it is an Australian region yeah we do have Arbok and Viper and everything like that but if you're gonna make an Australian region you gotta put a snake in there and also Australia actually has more camels than Egypt which is kind of crazy you wouldn't really expect it but that is actually the truth so I could definitely see some cool camel Pokemon maybe some emus as well because there's a lot of emus that are native to Australia there's just so many really really cool animals that would make amazing Pokemon in the Australian region and of course yes we do have koalas we did have Kamala in Gen 7 but hey why not have another koala Pokemon we waited 20 years to finally get a koala Pokemon let's just have back to back koalas in the regions that'd be amazing or even better an evolution for Kamala something awesome about the Australian land landscape as well is the Great Barrier Reef is regarded as the world's largest living organism and is often listed as one of the seven wonders of the natural world which would be amazing that could be like a really cool like gym set up or just like a city with that like being like the main purpose of it that would be really cool just for a town in the Australian region we also have a really, really high mountain in Australia as well known as Mount Kosciuszko I probably pronounced that right pretty much sure I did but it actually stands at 2228 meters high so that again could make a really cool gym at the top of that or maybe even the elite four or something like that it could be a really cool place just to have you know a very very light bunch of really difficult pokemon that you have to take on or something you know maybe something like mount silver or something like that there is also a state in australia known as tasmania and that actually has the world's cleanest air so again that could be a really cool place for a town a gym and that could be like the whole focal point of that place you know everyone you talk to could be like hey did you know that tasmania has the world's cleanest air it's just again another kind of like awesome thing for another town in the australia region we also have the australian dingo fence you may have heard about that and that is because it is actually longer than the great wall of china again another really cool thing that you could have maybe you have to go across it or something like bike bike across it all the way down into another city again just another really, really cool fact about australia that would make the australian region even better another really cool idea for another town or you know with a gym or anything like that in the australian region is to actually have something similar to maybe snow point city or something like that just a town with loads and loads of snow and that is 
because Australia's Alps receive more snowfall annually than those in Switzerland, which is kind of crazy because obviously Switzerland gets a lot of snow. You know, Australia's Alps get more than that. So maybe we can have like, you have to go all the way up to the Alps and then there's a town up there with a gym and it's just for snowy and everything like that. And cool ice type gym would be pretty nice to have there. Maybe mixed with like, I don't know, like fairy or something. I really don't know. But a really cool like icicle, like, you know, snowy town would be really cool if we did have an Australian region. So rounding everything up about an Australian region for Generation 8, I think it would be an amazing idea. There's a bunch of poisonous animals, just a bunch of animals in general, which would make really, really cool Pokemon like the kangaroos, the koala, the poisonous snakes the sheep that would have to be the fire starts with the zodiac sign that kind of all just links together very very nice there's a nice little fact about australia the whole you know three times as many sheep as people in australia you know you've got some really cool you know uh, things in australia for towns and cities everything like that the facts that we have got over today would just really really make amazing places to try and visit especially with the jenny you know graphics that will be on the switch it'd just be amazing to see and an australian region is what people have wanted for a very very long time and i would be one very very happy if it was a thing for the nintendo switch but that is the australian region if we were going to get one Coming up for the next potential region for Generation 8 on the Nintendo Switch is one close to home. I'm talking about a region based on England because I'm obviously from England. Now, yes, in today's society, England doesn't have loads of really cool things. Yeah, there's a nice couple of sites and, and everything like that, you know, in London or Manchester or anything like that. Really, really cool for different aspects for like towns with gyms and everything like that. But I'm talking more about England's history. As a whole, England has so much history. I'm talking about the medieval time, everything like that. And whilst I wouldn't really want the region to be based on like a medieval kind of thing I still think that we could take a lot of things from medieval times and bring them into like a more realistic thing like Pokemon and towns and just history and stuff like that it would be really really cool and even places like I'm from Nottingham and obviously we have the whole Robin Hood everything like that that could definitely be like a cool gym maybe a couple grass type Pokemon in Sherwood Forest which obviously is where Robin Hood de like technically originated from and where he like you know lived and stuff so we could definitely have that as like a, a really cool place and there's more things like that we could have like the London Dungeons everything like that with some cool ghost types big banners as a whole you know there's so many cool like sites and things in england i think that would make a really really cool region but not just england though i think we should definitely include ireland wales and scotland as well scotland of course is the home of loch ness with the loch ness monster that could be an amazing like situation we could have like a gym there on there and maybe like a legendary pokemon could be based on the loch ness monster yes we do have lapras which is technically a plesiosaur but even like loch ness monster like a dinosaur pokemon could be a fossil i really don't know but i think we could definitely link something cool to that with scotland ireland would be amazing as well Ireland is like the greenest country ever it's so so nice to go there and then Wales again an amazing place something that I think would be kind of cool maybe we didn't like it in Alola but to have like maybe two separate islands for this so basically have like England and Scotland and then maybe like Ireland and Wales something like that as two different like islands you gotta go to each so maybe you do like half the game on like England region with the Scotland and then you go to Ireland and Wales anything like that maybe just kind of separates it not as crazy as Alola with all the different islands but I kind of like going from different places with different sceneries and stuff so like obviously maybe starting off in England England going all the way up to Scotland then going to like Wales then down to Ireland but yes that is the Great Britain region for the Nintendo Switch if they did decide to go for it in generation 8. The next region that we're going to be going over in today's video is a Spanish region another European country for generation 8 of Pokemon and that is because there's quite a lot of links towards leaks and everything about a Spanish region I don't really pay too much attention to leaks or not but I don't really know if this is you know classed as fake or anything or I like that I just don't really pay too much attention to it but I still think it'd be cool anyway if there was a Spanish region you know Spain's amazing there's a lot of facts about Spain as well that would really make a region in this you know country really really cool and of course one of the main things about Spain is the amazing weather it's so nice in Spain I don't know if you've ever been but ever going to Spain you just have an amazing time because the weather is incredible and I could definitely see that playing a huge part on the whole region you know, could have some really really nice bright colorful towns and cities with gyms you could have quite a couple of fire type Pokemon maybe a couple more than usual because it's really nice weather more grass type Pokemon as well obviously they would flourish in really nice weather you have some really nice um oceans as well it's just it's just a really really beautiful country as a whole and i just think the scenery on the nintendo switch would really really do this place justice and just make for a really really cool region and of course it is one of the most uh, i think it's one of the most visited places as well like tourist wise i think just after the us and france so it's not bad for third we obviously already do have a, a french region as well in x and y so maybe we'll have this one as well you never know so we could definitely have like people from all over and of course we could have those people that you know they like to tease like oh well in my region we don't have this you know those kind of people could definitely have those as well as a tourist like oh i'm visiting 
visiting from this faraway place and then that could be like just a drop in a hint about Gen 9 or Gen 4 remakes or something like that I just I like those kind of little Easter eggs and stuff in the game so I think that would make a really really cool you know seeing it, it just links to the whole touristy thing speaking of that as well Spain is actually the least densely populated country in Europe with plenty of wild and wonderful open space so not only could we have some amazing towns and cities we could have like a bunch of like you know really really big roots and stuff just filled with like grass and just really really nice again scenery lovely weather everything like that and just you know new Pokemon could just flourish here and mean more it just be a really cool place for all these different kind of Pokemon I think just the whole switch would really bring out like because obviously it can the capabilities of the switch are much better than the DS they can just really bring out like really really nice colorful you know roots and cities and gyms and I think it'd just be a really really cool place but yes that is the Spanish region finishing off things though and the last region we're going to be going over in today's video is a region based on Egypt now I don't have to tell you twice to think that this would just be an amazing idea just with all the history and everything about that I actually watched a video on the pyramids and everything the other day which actually kind of blew my mind it was basically just saying that like everything was like so perfectly placed a lot of people think that they were built by like slaves and stuff but it was like really crazily mathematically just just calculated just to like all these different bricks were placed perfectly and it was in like the perfect like point of the earth or something like that and it's just like there's no way that slaves like untrained people would be able to make it and I was just watching it and I was like that's insane because I thought they were made by like slaves and stuff but there's nothing to actually you know lead you to the fact that slaves were a thing in Egypt but yeah if you just spend like a couple of minutes to actually research it it's really really interesting just of everything about the pyramids but again the pyramids would make an amazing city or even a gym like at the top of the pyramid anything like that I, they, they just have to build something around the pyramids and Lucario would also be a big Pokemon in this region as well because obviously is what it's based on and everything like that but anyway there's a bunch of facts about Egypt which just make this region so much better so but yes one of those crazy facts is actually that ancient Egyptians worshipped over 1,400 different gods and goddesses which basically means there's a lot of things out there which could make amazing mythicals or legendary Pokemon or even have their own clarification we have Ultra Beast and like say legendary mythicals maybe a different clarification not exactly like god like the god type because we obviously have Arceus but maybe like things surrounding Arceus I don't know but we could definitely have things like that a Pokemon that we would have to have is something based on the Steppy Eagle I think I said that right and it's because it's the national animal of Egypt and I think another Eagle Pokemon would be amazing but yeah that could be a really cool regional bird if Egypt is what the Nintendo Switch Pokemon game is based on something for a really really cool town might be something that you actually underwater because the lost Egyptian city of Heracleion I think I said that right was actually found after 1200 years under the sea so maybe you have to go down under the sea and then you actually come to this lost Egyptian city I think that'd be an amazing place for a gym you could have like obviously water type or anything like that because you're obviously under the sea but I think it'd be really cool maybe it's just like I know you gotta dive down there and then you have to kind of come up like you do in Super Polar City kind of thing that'd be really really cool though I would love to see that if Egypt was what Gen 8 was based on again talking more about those pyramids all the great mysteries everything about them there are still unexplored passageways in the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt so if we did have like like the the pyramids as certain like gyms or anything like that you could definitely go in them it could be like a maze or something you know and like before Pokemon games you've had mazes where you go through one room you come out in another and then you go through another room and then you come back to where you were originally I can definitely have those kind of puzzles in these pyramids that would make for a really really cool just a puzzle or a maze in Pokemon Jedi but yes as a whole Egypt would be an amazing place to have as a region just because of all the mysteries and history surrounding it and like I say all the facts that we've gone over in today's video could all make for amazing towns and cities in Pokemon Generation 8. But finishing things off though, out of all of the regions I've gone over today, I think the most amazing one would be Australia. You know, I think I spent the most time going over the facts and stuff for that just because there's so many things that could be linked to Pokemon. It'd be a really cool place to visit and I think it'd make for an amazing region in Generation 8. And I think it'd do the, the first obviously big Pokemon game on the Switch absolute justice if they did decide to go with Australia for Generation 8. But with that it does wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it as much as I did making it. Looking in different facts about different countries and continents and everything like that is so so cool and you know it's I definitely found out a lot of information before making this video and as I was making it but of course if you guys did enjoy please do remember to leave a like down below rate us about the video the channel and all that good stuff be sure to leave a comment down below as well about what region you would love generation 8 to be based on if that is of course the first game for the Nintendo Switch and the big Pokemon game that we're all waiting for I definitely think a lot of you guys are gonna say Australia though because Australia is something that a lot of people have wanted very very long time I do have a couple other videos coming on to Australia in a second so be sure to give them a watch if you do have the time and remember to subscribe as well if you do enjoy my content I do daily Pokemon videos on this channel and daily Pokemon streams as well that is everything from me though guys thank you so much for watching have an amazing
That is everything from me though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. And until next time, guys, peace. Thank you.